I've always been interested in microphone amplifiers, right from before the days when I got into the music and recording business. I used to experiment with those little crystal microphone inserts that we could buy from the electronics shops in Soho in London. It's hard to believe that that was actually 60 years ago. It was all very primitive. My microphone amplifiers were, were simple vacuum tube circuits. But one of my sayings has always been, nothing is ever wasted. And those days, trying to, trying to make acceptable recordings in the front room of a little semi in Camberley, it taught me a huge amount about volume levels and impedance and what works and what doesn't. Much later, when a group of us were running the, the old Alice company in Windsor, we had the idea of, of producing a sturdy but portable mixer. This ended up as the Alice 828. And some of the old thinking and learning became, became very useful because in that mixer, the mic amps sounded really, really good, as well as they, it had some uh, excellent limiters. And that was back in 1978. And we went on to sell hundreds of them. Now, a lot has happened since those days. The whole of the recording and popular music industry has reinvented itself to work with computers and digits. But in spite of the changes, there are some constants and some home truths. The capture of sound in a way that can be used to record means that we still need microphone amplifiers and they need to be technically very good to match up to the superb quality of digital recording that we have now. Now, I really like the look of the API 500 series rack system. It's compact and economical with its built-in power supplies. And as a, a sort of semi-retirement project, um, I decided to design some modules for the 500 system. And uh, I started out with the stereo compressor, which is the TF Pro 538. The second module I, I, I worked on was the, uh, the TF Pro 505, which is a stereo EQ with its soft characteristics and a, and a stereo width control. And now it's got to be time to introduce a mic amp. And this one's called the TF Pro 503. It's a 500 series module taking up one space in a lunchbox. I can never say that. It's, it's a 500 series module taking up one space in a lunchbox rack. So what's special about it? Well, I set out to design a mic amp that could capture the best warm sounds that we normally associate with only the very best capacitor microphones. To do that, we need something that's very quiet and yet can respond easily to those sharp transient sounds without even a hint of overload. Just about all modern mic amps use a single specialist chip, which on paper and in the laboratory does everything perfectly. But in the real world, it's not that easy. This is the one part of the recording process where audio levels are not under control. My solution to the, to the problem, and it's one dating back to the old Alice broadcast mixers and the work we did for the BBC, is to share out the amplification over several amplifier stages. And that way, no single amplifier stage has much to do. And the result is a much better control of the transients, which means a warmer and generally nicer sound. The 503 uses this shared gain technique, sharing the amplification over four stages. The facilities on it are, are, are minimal, really. They're just what's needed so that it's easy and quick to operate. There's switchable mic line input. This is so that you can access the limiter for a high level line signal. The 48 volt phantom power switch has a red warning light to avoid sending power to anything that might be damaged by phantom power. There's the high pass filter, which is a gentle one just to minimize the rumbles that you get sometimes up through the mic stand. There's polarity reverse, or phase reverse, as it's often incorrectly called. And, and then there's the limiter switch. The limiter is an exact copy of my old circuit from 1978, which became so successful as a part of the, the 828 mixer. It was used by TV production companies to do location sound for TV series like The Bill, The Avengers and The Professionals. 
it's such a simple device to use. You just turn up the limit threshold control until the, the limit light comes on with speech, and it's working. It gives brilliant control to record levels, and if you use it a bit harder, it gives a warm and close sound, which is actually the sound you're hearing now, because um, I'm going through um, a capacitor microphone into a 503 with the limiter working fairly hard. Well, that's it, really. That's the, that's the 503. I enjoyed designing it and uh, in building it, and uh, I hope you enjoy using it. Thank you. <laughs>